Hi, today we're going to be doing a quick demonstration of the ease of programming a part in Shop Mill on our Fryer 2200 control based on Siemens hardware. Uh, on our front screen, this is where everything starts from, it's our manual screen, but what I'm going to do is go into the button called Program, and what this does is it opens up a directory where I can store and create programs. This also allows me to create sub-programs to keep things organized a little bit better. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit my button for new and uh, I'm going to have a choice here of, um, uh, actually right here, sorry, new program. I have a choice between shop mill or I can program in standard G-code. So we're going to just call this program uh, test one. And when I hit the OK button, it brings up a screen called the program header. Now this is the first thing that starts on every uh, shop mill program. It gives me some basic information asking how, um, which work offset I want to use, if I want to be an inch or metric, um, how I want to clamp the part, either off the table or it could be off a rotary. This is uh, typical of some of the new features on the 2200 control where it shows a lot more animations. Uh, here I would describe my blank. It could be a block, could be a hex, uh, could be a cylinder or a piece of pipe. So we're going to create a block here. Uh, with these values, it determines the size. And I'm just going to create a six, six by six block, one inch tall. This button here lets us uh, determine how far my tools want to pull off the part. We're going to say 100 thousandths. Safety distance is just an approach point. Uh, we'll leave it at 20 thousandths, and we're ready to start. So once I hit that, uh, with the program header created, the bottom part of my screen brings up all my different machining operations. I've got drilling, milling, uh, something called contour mill. If uh, I go to my second screen here, it brings up um, straight lines and arcs. Okay, uh, We're going to do a simple drilling and pocketing program today. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my drill menu, and on my right hand side, are my different types of drilling operations. I can do center drilling, uh, drilling reaming, deep hole, boring, threading. We're going to do a simple deep hole drilling cycle. One of the uh, convenient features on the Siemens uh, Fryer 2200 control is that whenever you open up any of your can cycles, it remembers everything you did the last time. So you're not opening up a cycle and starting completely from scratch. And that really is going to save you a lot of time uh, when you're doing repetitious operations where uh, you do a lot of this type of drilling but you might just need to change the depth. In this case I would just uh, bring it down to this field right here and change the depth. Everything else looks good. Now if I wanted to change my tool I would go into my tool page and I would see what I've got available and we're going to pick a um, this uh, 500 high-speed steel drill and when I hit OK copies the information right into that field. Uh, as I move down feed rate, spindle speed. I can tell it it's a chip breaking operation or completely pull out or a chip removal. Another uh, new feature of the 2200 is you see a lot more animations like this that give you more information about what the tool is actually going to be doing. Uh, another big thing that they've done is uh, when I hit the help screen it actually brings up a page from the programming manual that goes into more detail about every parameter that's here on the right hand side. So if you're confused about what it's asking for on this side, I can open up the page in the book. There's uh, everything to kind of walk me through it. Okay, so I've, uh, I've called up all my drilling information here and then I have to tell it where I want my holes located. So I would go into this uh, button for positions and there's a number of ways I can do this. I can say uh, I've got eight random holes that are kind of scattered all over the part. Um, I've got one where I want to do a frame around the end of the part. Here's one for straight line. I've got a grid. I've also got bolt circle. Uh, I think today what we'll do is we're going to do a frame. Since I created a six by six block, I want to do uh, basically six holes on each edge here, uh, one inch apart. And as you look down here, it's asking me, here's the spacing, hold a hole in x-axis, one inch, uh, same thing in, in y, and then the number of holes in x and the number in y. So once I hit accept, uh, I'm ready to see what I've got created so far. So when I go to my simulation key, it brings up a, a box here, and I'll actually see the part being 
drilled as it's uh, being manufactured. I can look at this in a number of different ways. I can say, let's look at it from the top. Uh, under the 3D view, I also have, uh, I can zoom this. I can take my finger, drag the, pro the part around, and look at it in you know, different perspectives, things like that. And also at the bottom, in this corner right here, it tells me the cycle time that I've got so far on the machine. So if all my drilling looks good, uh, I might want to go in and add a pocket to, to the middle of it. So let's say we go under milling, and I, I can take a look at, i got rectangular pocket, we've got circular. So real quick, we're just going to put a, a quick circular pocket in the middle of this part. So let's see what we got for tools here. Uh, we're going to select this 375 carbide end mill, and we're going to give it a feed rate of uh, 10 inches a minute, and we'll run it at 1,000 RPM. You can see the direction the tool is going to be cutting. This is a, uh, a I can have a choice here of either roughing or finishing. Uh, I can also come in at the end of the program with a, uh, another tool and break the upper edge as a chamfer. We're going to insert this in the center. I can have it insert as a helical operation. We're going to make one pocket. The location is going to be in the middle of our part at three and three. The diameter will be um, uh, two and a half inches, and we're going to go down um, uh, 250 thousandths. This is the amount of step over that the tool takes. We're going to bump that up to 50 percent, and this is depth of cut. Uh, we'll take, um, uh, let's see here, 125 at a time. And I took a little bit too much here. We'll make that 250 instead of 20. And let's see what we've added to our program. So I should see my drilling here, and then I'll have a circular pocket in the middle. Again, my cycle time's increased a little because I've added another machining operation. At this point, if I hit the key for execute, what will happen is the, the control will bring the program out to the front in the auto screen. Now I'm ready to run the part. Hit cycle start, I'm ready to go.